Hey kids, do you like Gran Turismo 2? Do you like to play Gran Turismo 2 at 30 frames per second? No! Well, guess what? Mr. John has a magic fix for this. Let's get into it. What's up everyone? Mr. John here and today I'm going to show you how to play Gran Turismo 2 at true 60 frames per second. And this requires a code in order to achieve this frame rate. So, did you know that Gran Turismo 2 ran at 30 frames per second on the real console? Yes! Yes, it is true, but what if I told you that there's a way to play this awesome game at true 60 frames per second? You what?! Well, it's actually possible, thanks to a YouTube user named Counterlife, who posted a video showing Gran Turismo 2 at true 60 frames per second. So, huge thanks to this YouTuber for showing this code for the game, so that we can run at 60 frames per second. But, how are we gonna do it? So first off, you need to get RetroArch, installing the Beetle PSX Core, a Gran Turismo Simulation Disk copy. Note that the version of the Simulation Disk must be in version 1.2. This does not work on other versions, including the arcade disk versions. All the tools that I have are in the description down below, if you want to download it, so let's get started. So first off, we're gonna fire up RetroArch first, and then installing the Beetle PSX Core. Then, after installing the emulation core, we have to go load content and load Gran Turismo 2 Simulation Discs version 1.2. Next, we're gonna go to the settings of the emulation to change some things. First up, we have to go to the CPU Direct section and choose Max Performance. Since the Beetle PSX has a Max Performance mode, it will be useful to achieve full speed. Otherwise, not choosing Max Performance will cause the game to slow down. Then, you go to the CPU frequency, and what it does, well, it increases the CPU of the console to remove a lot of the slowdown that the PS1 games used to have. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna crank it up between 450% and 500% depending on your system. Then after that, you have to go to the cheat section, and there, you have to add new cheat code to the top, and there, you have to input the code for the 60fps. Then, after that, enable it and then turn both the turn auto load the code and auto apply cheats on. And then save this cheat file and then click on apply changes. After that, just select restart and the game will load the code. Now, if you've done these steps correctly, you can now play Gran Turismo 2 at true 60 frames per second. Now, here's a comparison between Gran Turismo 2 with the original frame rate versus Gran Turismo 2 with the 60 frames per second code.
as you can see, the difference is day and night. And to be honest, I can't go back to the original 30 frames per second. 60 frames per second is actually the best way to play Gran Turismo 2, not to mention that you can add shaders to make it look more pretty. But however, that's a different topic for another day. It's also worth mentioning that if you have a decent phone, you could run EPSXE on your Android phone and input that 16 frames per second code. It actually works, just make sure you set the CPU overclock in the emulation menu at 3 times the speed, and also make sure that your phone is powerful enough to run at that speed. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. And let me know in the comments below if this code worked for you and what are your thoughts about playing GT2 at 60 frames per second. I'm your host, Mr. John, signing out and peace out. Love.